Tapi kalau kau hadir di Engkau kau, Tuhan Pengasih Penyayang Hati Tuhan Panjang sabar Tuhan Maka hatiku hancur Kasihanilah aku Tolonglah aku Kasihanilah aku Ampunilah Aku berseru pada Ampunilah dosaku Tuhan Ya Tuhan Ampuni Ampun Salahku Tuhan Aku tidak dapat membayar hutang dosa. Alhamdulillah. Sembuhkanlah aku. Aku ialah Tuhan, saudaraku. Bahwa Dia adalah penguasa atas hidupmu. Kami patahkan dan oleh bilur-bilur Yesus Menyembuhkan pada malam hari ini Haleluya Stroke 8 tahun Disembuhkan oleh Tuhan Yesus So when we are afraid, we put our trust in God. Jesus loves you and He hears you. Brothers and sisters, this is a very good day for all of us. A very good day. It is a day that God has made for all of us. 
It is a day that God has given for us. We are thankful and we are rejoicing and we are praising Him for this day. Before we begin the Bible, before we begin to read about what God has for us today, let us first pray. Lord Jesus, we are very thankful for this day that we can see a brand new day for all of us. A day where we can see you, where we can seek your face. A new day for all of us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As we want to learn about you more, as we want to read about you, Lord, please make us have wisdom from you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. The topic that I want to bring to you today is about how the Lord is our sword. How the Lord is my deliverer. How the Lord is my shield. And the Lord is our salvation. I will read to you a verse from Psalm 18. From verse 1 to verse 3. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from enemies. Brothers and sisters, this is a very good gospel from the Lord. That is, the Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Brothers and sisters, we live in the world where there is a lot of problems coming against us. And yes, we all have to depend on something. But in gospel, it is said that my God, my strength, the Lord should be our strength in times of trouble. Often in times, we put ourselves as the one that is giving us strength. We put other person as the one that is the source of our strength. We put a thing or a lot of things, we put somebody, we put ourselves as the source of our strength, that we believe in them, that we believe that it will deliver us. We believe in ourselves that ourselves could deliver ourselves. We believe in ourselves that ourselves could deliver us from any kind of trouble. But in here, we see, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust. Brothers and sisters, sometimes we put our strength into somebody else. But then we must ask ourselves, who is this somebody? Who is this someone? What is this thing that we believe that could be the source of our strength? Who are they? What are they? Are they stronger than the Lord? Do they love you more than the Lord loves you? Do they have the strength? But I will say to you today, brothers and sisters, no one loves you more than the Lord. No one cares more than the Lord about you. No one has the strength more than the Lord to save you. Brothers and sisters, sometimes we live like we can own everything in life. But we cannot, we cannot do things in life without Jesus Christ. That is why we must come to him. As we, we have to see him that he is our rock, and our deliverer. He is our strength. He is our source of strength. We will read from the Bible. I will read through you from Psalm 139, verse 13. For you, the Lord, form my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. Brothers and sisters, 
We put our strength on things. We put our strength on someone. We put our strength on other person. But do they care about you more than the Lord did? Do they know about you? Do they know about the day you are made? We see here in verse 16, Psalm 139, verse 16, Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed. And in your book, they all were written, The days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. Brothers and sisters, the Lord has known the day of your birth. He knows the day that you will be here. He knows the days. He knows your future. He knows this day. He knows your past. Nobody could do that. Who is your source of strength? Some, sometimes we put our strength on ourselves. We want to solve all of our problems. We want to finish it with our own might and our strength. But I ask you, brothers and sisters, do you know the day you were born? We all will die. Do you know about tomorrow? Do you know what will happen in a minute? Do you know what happens yesterday? You will not know. I will not know. Everyone will not know about the future. Nobody knows about your future, but Jesus knows. Brothers and sisters, it is clear here that even before you were born, God, has known your name. God is the one who formed your parts in your mother's womb. It is him. And it is said that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That you were made wonderfully. Every one of us is made wonderfully in the image of God. Every one of us. Every one of us is created in his image. He created you and me in his image. He did say that we are wonderfully made. He made us in his image. Nobody in this world created you. Nobody created me. You are special. Made by God with his own hand. There is only one person like you in the world. He knows your name. I don't know your name. You, you cannot know somebody else's name before they were born. But the Lord knows your name before you were born. The Lord knows the day when you are going to birth. The day your parents are born. The day that you meet Jesus. Maybe in the sky or if you are dead. The Lord knows those days. But do you know those days? Do somebody else know those days? Do your government know about those days? Do your healthcare know about those days? Nobody knows. Nobody knows about your future. Nobody knows about my future if not for the Lord. Nobody knows the day you were born. Nobody knows how you will grow up into. Nobody knows about what kind of family you will have. But Jesus knows. And he created you wonderfully. It is clearly said that you are created wonderfully in the image of God. Who can create that kind of thing? Nobody. Nobody created us. We all say that, oh, I am just a lucky evolution. I am just a random roll of the dice. I am just randomly made. I am what I am. But Jesus said that you are wonderfully made. He created you with his own hands. So that even when you are still in your mother's womb, he is the one that is covering you. He is the one that formed us form up your inward parts. He is the one that loves you so much. And he knows you very well. He knows the inner workings of your body. He knows 
what is happening inside you. He knows what is happening on your soul. He knows what is happening on your mind. Even we can see it in Psalm 139. Verse 2. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought of far off. Brothers and sisters, nobody knows if I'm sitting down, if I'm rising up. But the Lord knows. He doesn't want to keep you alone. He doesn't want to keep you standing around in this world. We see that the world has a lot of troubles. The world is giving us lots of troubles. But He, the one that created you, wants to save you. The Bible says in John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son. So whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Brothers and sisters, we live, we don't know about tomorrow. We don't know what will happen to us. We don't know what is going on with our life. We don't know what will happen with our health. We don't know about our future. But here comes the Lord. He is the one who forms you up. He is the one that saw you before you are even formed. He saw you. And he has written in his book the day's fashion for you only. For you only, brothers and sisters. The Lord has written all of it in his book. He knows about you. You are special in his sight. But today, come to him. Because he has made you special. But he says to you, if you want to believe in him, you shall not perish. Sometimes we want to believe in ourselves. But I say to you, where are we when the world is made? Where is our strength when the world is being formed? Where are you and where are me when the Lord created the heavens and the earth? Where are you? And where are me? When he made everything in here. When he created the sun. When he created the stars. When he created the earth. When he created the seas and the sky. Where are you? And where are me? Where are everyone? Nobody is there. But Lord is there. A powerful God. That loves you so much. A powerful God. That wants to be your fortress until the end of days. A powerful God that loves you so much that he came down from the heavens. So you, so me, so we all can have eternal life. We all worry about tomorrow. We all worry about the day we depart this world. We all worry about our death. But here comes Jesus. He offers everlasting life in him. He offers everlasting life in him. He offers you to be your fortress, your shield. So that whoever anything happens in this world, you have Jesus. We see here in this world, the COVID-19 is still going on. We have lots of trouble in our finances. We may have trouble in our families, but Jesus, he will always be your fortress. He knows you more than anyone you know, because he is the one that formed you up and covered you up when you are in your mother's womb. He is a powerful God, but he is very close to you. Brothers and sisters, this is the time where we must stop thinking that we can get through all this problem by our own self. Where are our source of strength when this world is formed? Where are all of us when God created you? Do they know the day you are born? Do they know the day 
You will do this and you will do that. But God knows. And he wants to be with you. From this day. Until evermore. Brothers and sisters. This is a very good time for all of us. A very loving God. Is waiting for you. A very loving God. Wants to be with you. A very loving God wants to be your savior and your fortress. Come to him. Your life will change. If you are feeling dreadful in your life. If you are feeling that nobody cares about you. And nobody understands about you. Jesus understands you. He is the one that created you. He understands you perfectly. If you feel alone, if you feel that everybody has abandoned you, Jesus will not abandon you. He will always be your fortress. If you feel that your life is nothing, Jesus will make your life something that is really beautiful and special. He is the only one saying to you that your life, is wonderfully made. Brothers and sisters, it is the time where we must come to the Lord. If you want to accept Him as your Lord and Savior, if you want to accept Him in your life, so that He may live with you, the Bible is clear on that, that whoever believes in Him have everlasting life. Come to Him so that we all may live wonderfully. You can follow my prayer. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. And I need your love and your mercy. I need your strength in my life. I need you in my life. I need you in my life, Lord Jesus. Please come to me, Lord Jesus. Please come into my life, Lord Jesus. You are the one that made me. You are the one that created me. You are the one that covered me in my mother's womb. You are my God, Lord Jesus. Please enter my heart, Lord Jesus. Be my Lord and be my Savior from this day until evermore. Lord Jesus. Please enter my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. We believe that He will cover us. That He will protect us. That He will continue to bless us in our daily life. You don't need to fear for anything. Because He will be your fortress. He knows about your worries. He knows about what is your need. He knows what you need in life because He is the one that created you. He is the one that wonderfully created you. He knows what you need. Continue to believe in Him. If you have accepted Him as your Lord and your Savior, you don't need to worry about tomorrow because He knows tomorrow. Your days will be a wonderful days with Him. I want to continue about the Bible that he also gave us the gift. He also gave us that we can be healed if any one of you are sick. Know this, that Jesus wants to heal you this very moment. We read in the Bible from Matthew chapter 9, verse 28 and 29. And when he had come unto the house, the blind man come to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. And their eyes were opened. Brothers and sisters, Jesus said, According to your faith, let it be to you. Healing in Jesus Christ did not have 
any other requirement. You don't need somebody to pray it for you. You don't need to go to a certain place. You don't need to do this and do that. You don't have to take these steps. Your faith. According to your faith. Let it be to you. We can pray together. I will pray with you together. But it is according to your faith. If you believe, you will have your miracle. But if you don't want to believe, if you just say that, oh, uh, I'm just testing God this, will he heal me? That is not faith. Faith is believing that the Lord is able to heal you. Whatever your disease are, if you want to believe in the Lord that he could heal you, he will heal you. Brothers and sisters, there is no other requirement. You don't need me to come to pray for you because nobody could visit one another, right? In these times of stay-at-home order at many places. You don't need to do certain things. You don't need to pay me. You don't need to pay anybody else. You just have to have faith on Jesus Christ. I will not be the one that is healing you. I don't have any kind of powers. I am just a man like you, a simple man like you. We don't have any kinds of powers. But Jesus can do miracles for you if you want to believe in him. This very moment, if you want to believe in him, he will heal you. That is the simple truth about healing in Jesus Christ. That if you want to believe, you will be healed. According to your faith, let it be to you. So, brothers and sisters, any kind of sickness, Jesus didn't care about any particular sickness. He could heal any kind of disease. COVID-19, cancer, blind, lameness, pain in your leg. He could heal anything if you believe in him. Believe in him this very moment. We will pray together and we believe. He will heal you. Let us pray together. Put your hand wherever, on places where you feel the sickness. If it is on your heart, put it above your heart, above your lung. It is COVID-19 or any kind of disease. Or your head, if you have any kind of headache, any kind of disease, He will heal you. Let us pray together. Put your hand where you feel sickness and we will pray together. Remember, according to your faith, let it be done to you. Lord Jesus, I am sick, but I have faith on you, Lord Jesus. I have faith that as the Bible says, by your stripes, I am healed. By your stripes, I am healed. I have faith on you, Lord Jesus, that I will be healed completely now, Lord Jesus. I will be healed completely now, Lord Jesus. I believe in you, Lord Jesus, that you are able to do a miracle in my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I receive my miracle. I receive my healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. Continue to have faith on him. If you are not healed yet, continue to believe. Jesus will heal you. You can also pray for any kind of your troubles and your problems. Because Jesus said that he will take care of problems for you. Brothers and sisters, continue to have faith. And continue to believe in him. Because he takes care of you. He is a loving God that knows you very well. Brothers and sisters, before we close this sermon, I want to remind all of us to follow the guidelines of the government that has set upon us. Some areas have instructions on what we must do, on what business stay open, about stay-at-home orders, anything. We must follow the directions of our governments. We must follow the guidelines of our governments because they are the authorities that God has put in charge above us yes we believe in the miracles of lord jesus we believe 
that he is a powerful God, but we also believe, like the Bible say, that government are the authorities that God has put over all of us. So follow the governments, follow the guidelines, and continue to pray for them. Pray so that this virus may disappear from the world. Continue to pray for your government so that the Lord might continue to give them wisdom during these times. Continue to pray, the Lord will help us all. God bless you all, and God bless all nations in the world. Amen.